the different types of cooling system are air cooling system, liquid cooling system, force circulation system, pressure cooling system. In this video, we'll discuss four types of cooling system. Let's get started with the video. Number 1. Air Cooled System. The simplest type of cooling is the air cooled, or direct, method in which the heat is drawn off by moving air in direct contact with the engine. Several fundamental principles of cooling are embodied in this type of engine cooling. The rate of the cooling is dependent upon the following, the area exposed to the cooling medium, the heat conductivity of the metal used and, the volume of the metal or its size in cross-section, the amount of air flowing over the heated surfaces and the difference in temperature between the exposed metal surfaces and the cooling air. Number 2. Liquid Cooled System. A simple liquid-cooled system consists of a radiator, coolant pump, piping, fan, thermostat, and a system of water jackets and passages in the cylinder head and block through which the coolant circulates. Some vehicles are equipped with a coolant distribution tube inside the cooling passages that directs additional coolant to the point where temperatures are highest. Cooling of the engine parts is accomplished by keeping the coolant circulating and in contact with the metal surfaces to be cooled. Number 3. Force Circulation System In a force circulation type water cooling system for a horizontal internal combustion engine, a radiator is located roughly at the same height as an engine body in a surrounding space outside a cylinder head and is positioned at a lateral side of the engine body of the horizontal internal combustion engine. Number 4. Pressure Cooling System The radiator pressure cap is used on nearly all modern engines. The radiator cap locks onto the radiator tank filler neck rubber or metal seals make the cap to neck joint airtight. The radiator cap pressure valve consists of a spring-loaded disc that contacts the filler neck. The spring pushes the valve into the neck to form a seal. Under pressure, the boiling point of water increases. Normally water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. However, for every pound of pressure increase, the boiling point goes up 3 degrees Fahrenheit. Typical radiator cap pressure is 12 to 16 psi. This raises the boiling point of the engine coolant to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit to 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Many surfaces inside the water jackets can be above 212 degrees Fahrenheit. If the engine overheats and the pressure exceeds the cap rating, the pressure valve opens. Excess pressure forces coolant out of the overflow tube and into the reservoir or onto the ground. 